Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wit, back with another makeup tutorial. And today I will be showing you guys how to get this flawless look. So, um, I, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for um, subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting. I really appreciate it. Um, please don't be afraid to leave your comments down below. Whatever you want to ask me, I will work on putting that video out for you. Um, yes, thank you guys. So, um, today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my two-step, um, my two-step method to get like a flawless, um, foundation application so like applying your foundation to get that flawless look so um i kind of skipped some parts um i already filled in her brows and i concealed the bottom part um so i'm using these shades that i'm using i'm using um a shade from beauty by melissa's uh, uh makeup palette and then i'm using a shade from what is that palette called? It's the Carnival palette, I believe. Um, I'll have it listed down below, you guys. I, I don't remember what um, brand it was from, but it's the Carnival palette. So he, I kind of got that uh, purple shimmer shade, and I just applied that um, right on top of that brown shadow. So, um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your client's face is moisturized, um, and primed. Um, I am going in with MOM per the client's request. And, um, for my two-step application, I always go darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. Um, I know they say never put, like, foundation underneath the eyes. I don't exactly go, like, underneath her eyes all the way. I kind of just um apply it on the upper part of her face so that it could be like some type of base for my um highlight that's something that i do so you do what's best for you but this is what this is my two um step method i go in with a darker shade and then i go with a lighter shade at the top and i start at the bottom with the darker shade and work my way up and blend out that foundation into her skin um, here I am using um, uh, concealer to clean up the top of her brows as you can see um, I also went in and already um, did her eyeliner by the way so now here I am going in with highlight and I'm just um, applying that um, underneath her eyes and also cleaning up her eyeliner So this, this pretty much works for me. Um, I even did the three-step method, which was um, Cake by Max. I don't know if you guys watch her on YouTube. Um, Cake by Max have like this three-step method. Um, and I did that one time, and it actually came out really, really nice. Um, so you guys should try that out. Um, I believe it's like the darkest, and then like the middle would be kind of like the... A little lighter than the bottom and then the act and then the top would be the lightest um go check her out her videos um you'll see what i'm talking about but with her three step um foundation application but um i kind of did two instead um that kind of works best for me i do it on a lot of my clients and um i always get like a flawless um application so that's one thing that i do do so here i am as always you guys um concealing and just blending out and when i'm blending out the concealers i'm blending out the edges of the concealer i am not blending out like i'm not just going in and just blah blah blah, blah just blending no i'm kind of just letting that concealer um get as much coverage on her face and just like sit there and i'm just blending out the edges so everything can be seamless so um i go in with black opa i said opa Black Oprah, I said, why am I saying it the same thing? Black Opal in Cobra, and um, this is something else that I do. I kind of go in with um, um, like a, a shade, 
a couple of shades lighter than her. Um, I use it to contour the nose. And then afterwards, I'll go in only by the only by underneath the cheeks. I'll go in with a darker contour shade, which is um, Ebony from Black Opal. And yeah, so here I am just blending all that out. Notice, look at look at her face, you guys. It's just flawless. Um, also, my client was the one who um, decided she wanted this look. I asked her what kind of look would she like, and this is what she showed me. And I thought this was so pretty. And I'm kind of glad she told me to do this look because it's so cute and I love it. So I'm just blending that out, you guys. Yes. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my channel, you guys. Stay here, okay? Stay with us. We get lit over here. We get lit over here, child. Um, you guys can probably hear, like, I I have a cold. Um, I don't know what happened, y'all. It's getting a little too cool over here for me. And I done caught a cold. I just, I done caught the cold. But here I am going in with AC Cosmetics. You guys, I love AC Cosmetics setting powder. And this is No Shine. And I'm just um, using a thin layer of the setting powder and I am just using this damped beauty blender to set that in the areas that I highlighted and um, I also went and um, carved out her contour and then here I am um, lining up her lips with Morphe and Trendsetter my favorite lip pencil So gorgeous. Um, some parts are sped up, you guys. Some parts are not. So I kind of just wanted you guys to get a feel of everything. Um, I'm so sorry if I'm in the way. But, you know, I got to make sure I see what I see. So I can get this right. So I also went in and um, set her nose to get her nose snatched. You know what I'm saying? Snap to take. So, um, I set her nose, and then here I am going in with um, NYX Liquid uh, Lipstick and Baby Doll, and I'm just applying that with a disposable lip applicator. I love this lipstick so much, and I'm just tapping that onto her lips, and then here I am, um going in with some gloss and I am just applying that on she has like some beautiful eyes brows she's very pretty to me she's a very pretty she's cute period Now here I am going in with a black pencil. Um, now I'm going in with C8 from MAC Studio Fix Face Powder. And I'm just pressing that into um, the setting powder. I'm not swiping, I'm, pr I'm tapping and I'm pressing in. For the lower part, I am going with uh, NW, I believe, hmm, NW45 or 44, one of them. And I'm just setting um, the bottom part of her face. Here I am going in with some blush. She is gorgeous, you guys. Period. Look at that. Look at that blush. Um, I already set her face, but I'm gonna set it again. And I'm just going in with Morphe's um highlighting palette. And I just kind of mix around so there's no exact um highlighting shade that I use. I just kind of mix a little bit. And 
and look at that it's so subtle like uh, apply some on her nose her chin and her forehead Period. Make sure you guys um, are subscribing to my channel. Make sure you guys um, stick around for the next video. You guys, um, I have some more videos. I am going to put them out, but uh, I don't feel like they're worthy yet. Um, but I'll think about it in the meantime. Um, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, witkit um, underscore MUA. And um, here I am just applying mascara. And this completes the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.